Alright guys, it's time for an update. I know it's been a little while. I have been working on some exterior fixes. This is the old version, this is the newer version. Uh, to me, the newer version looks a little more metallic, a little more shiny. Uh, let's see here. I did actual sheet metal on the outside. As opposed to on this side, it just ran through. It's kind of like a, a cop out. So that's updated. The shading, it was noted that the shading was a little wonky. So I fixed that and also did some upgrading with the modeling. Let's see what else. Is. The underbody is updated. This is the older underbody. It doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't look great. And I still need to make some improvements though. This is the newer underbody. I changed the way the 40 lines run through. I am still, I still want to update this. I know it looks horrifying, but it takes time. Let's see what else. Uh, let's open these up. Oh, well, while we're in here, actually, I did some interior decorating for the vestibule. The screws, screws. I actually placed them instead of just doing decals. Uh, they are in the accurate places. I redid the panel. That panel looks a little wonky. Let's go over here. Uh, I need to, I need to take some shine off of these buttons, but uh, it looks much more crisp. Oh my gosh! I just realized it's backwards. I'm gonna fix that. Don't worry about it. Let's see what else I just fix here. Just put that there. It wasn't there before. So just just some things here and there. I've been updating these coaches that need to be finished before I release version one. The, uh, sorry for all the running around here. The windows, I changed the shading on the windows so that it's a little more smooth around the edges here. Also, I added these decals here, branding, whatever you want to call them, as it is accurately a part of the real window. I also finished up some more decals for the emergency exits, which were not there before. So that looks good. Those also glow in the dark, just as they do. Let's see here. Oops. I gotta fix. I gotta figure out what what camera angles I want for these coaches. By the way, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Let's open these up here so I can let you guys see some uh, details in the vestibules I've been working on. Again, the older the older coach is on the right. The newer coach is on the left. I smooth out the door jam, so to speak. These are things that you guys may not actually notice, but I only notice as the creator of it. And redid some of the interior of the vestibules. You can't really tell, but I promise you it's there. What else was supposed to be done? Oh, the coaches are arched now. So I'll close these up. So, in real life, the coaches have a, a, a noticeable arch to them to add basically strength and longevity. So if you can look here, this is the old coach, the second car. That's old and it's not much of an arch. This one actually has a true arch to it. I arched the sheet metal and even the windows, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, if you can tell, even the windows have an arch to them now, which makes it a true Amphony coach, as opposed to being straight and flat across. I'm still working on the LODs, I know it looks kind of funky, but this is LOD number one, and we're going to work our way out from there. I also changed, uh, I changed the way this, I, I can't really explain, I'll have to just show you in a second. So you'll see how the end of the car looks a little better now. Before, it just looked saturated and wet for some reason. So this is the newer version of the end of the car. This is my older version. It's just like, I don't really know how to explain how it looks wonky, but it does. And to me, this looks a little better. 
and uh, I think I fixed up some of the texturing and shading for for the undercarriage at the end as well. I do need to eventually add the chain here, which is going to cost more poly counts and things like that, but if you want detail, you got to pay for it. Uh, and I think the last thing I need to fix, maybe it might be some shading on this door here. But some updates coming. I am still working on my P32 AC DM that has kind of taken the back burner while I try to get version one of these coaches out. I was made aware that the doors don't open naturally at station stops for these cars. You have to open them manually. Um, I wasn't sure why that wasn't working, so I'm looking into it. Hopefully, I can get version one and see you guys within the next within the next month or two. All right, guys, that's all. See ya.